Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to Jagged Alliance 2. So, uh, we have done a few things since the last episode. Uh, probably the biggest change, uh, we've actually hired a few new mercenaries. Um, after the fall of Nails, uh, we needed to shore up our squad one a little bit as we were down to six guys, and I wanted to go ahead and create a full flesh kind of squad two uh, that had yet to sort of exist. Um, we picked up Lynx, who is a uh, pretty decent sniper, uh, marksman, night ops, and scouting, and also static uh, to basically replace Nails. Uh, he's got the technician ability, he's a pretty good mechanic, all that kind of stuff. Uh, then on the other side of things, let's see here, we have now got Sydney and Scope, uh, both pretty good shots and uh, have been equipped with some uh, sniper rifles there. Sydney's not actually a marksman, but he has 92% uh, or 92, I guess it's not really a percentage, uh, marksmanship ability, so I went ahead and threw a sniper rifle on him. Um, we've got these guys kind of poised to, uh, to take on Alma. I'm going to hold off on that for just a moment. If I could get really lucky and maybe one of our uh, mobile militia units would like patrol by. I might uh, have them attack at the same time. If not, um, and it doesn't look like that it's going to happen anytime soon, uh, they may end up taking Alma all by themselves. But for the time being, we're going to pop over back to the city of Grum. And I'm actually a little bit concerned. It looks like maybe a, uh, a group is coming up to attack us soon. Oh, this is probably a bad idea. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and move out. Let's take the H1 sector first. I'm going to go ahead and attack here. Um, this is like 12 units. Uh, if they're elites, I'm in a lot of trouble if I leave the Grum Mine. But hopefully I don't find myself having to retake the Mine sector in just a minute. Uh, I'll go ahead and in the area. call our reinforcements in. He uses a little bit of cannon fodder. And then we'll get into Grum. Uh, Grum is a pretty straightforward um, map, the, the H1 sector of Grum anyway. Oh, wow. And we, of course, encounter bad guys right at the start of it. So the militia is going to take our first turn. Uh, so we'll let them advance. That's a bit unfortunate. It usually means that it's, it's a little harder for me to get my own units up there because I don't generally like running at full sprint um, as I don't like what it does to my energy levels and also my AP at the end of the round. Uh, so usually to get ahead of them... They're here, man! Yeah, that was a sniper rifle. Um, I've got to kind of go at breakneck speeds. So that's a little unfortunate. But I'm sure it'll sort itself out. And... They've only spotted the one guy... Standing of course, the by. one guy they decided to spot has a sniper rifle. Uh, we'll drop all packs. Make sure everybody's got night vision goggles on. Yo. Indeed they do. Static actually sees this guy, but it has like a terrible chance to hit him. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, we'll move up to about here. So that we still have plenty of AP to do some crouching. Standing by. And then... Uh, you know what? Ready. Links. I wonder if I could get him to still take a shot. 52 barely. Yeah, not you a very well aimed shot. That was that was definitely a waste of ammunition. But oh well, you live you learn. Uh no. Just Wait. short. Uh you know what? I'm gonna actually get Gaston a little bit farther up there. Standing by uh, we'll let the other guys okay. worry about the one unit we've spotted and uh, we'll start having yes, sir. people covering good. other directions yes all right all right and there we go uh lynx isn't gonna have enough to crouch yes sir vince will though all right and then we'll uh let the enemy do its worst Okay, a radio call to start things off, but no torrent of gunfire coming our way. That's a positive thing if I've ever seen one. And again, lots of militia turns. Like that guy duck walking. Okay, lovely. 
and him shooting his friend. Another reason that I don't enjoy uh, running right up to the militia is I then have to worry about them shooting me in the back. <laughs> That's not terribly pleasant. So we'll stay just a little bit behind them. Okay, that's decent. Um, I can't imagine that guy having yes, enough AP to really do anything after getting shot a few times. So... I think I'm mostly going to worry about things to come. So we'll get our guys yes, sort of positioned in advance of the militia in a another direction. And we'll make this like our new... Uh, direction of attack. Uh, you know what? And actually, Wait. Stone, what can you see with that pretty little sniper scope? Okay, a couple of guys running around. Uh, don't really have the AP for the headshot, but we can probably let him know we're here by shooting at him. Okay. Um, nobody else is really going to be able to do much there either. Standing by. Okay. Uh, let's. Ready. Can't see that guy anymore. That's unfortunate. Oop, that's not what I meant to click on. All right. Have Lynx cover our flank. You called with his trusty sniper rifle. And actually, we can probably oh. use that shot. Yeah, there we go. Beauty. All right. Him being out of the way is definitely good. Means. The militia will be free to uh, worry about other things on their next turn. All right. Nobody yes. else up here. I assume that if anybody was going to come uh, down around this side, we would have seen them through the light by now. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and see what they're going to do now. It is an ingrate. The number of lights in front of all these uh, businesses is very good for us. It should mean we're Pretty able to... Sure I picked up noise, man. Bomber! Okay. Should mean we're able to do quite a bit of spotting uh, in the dark through things like sniper scopes. Uh, also, Static heard something to the west. I thought I saw somebody for just a second. Like, oh, there he is. Okay. Yes. Yeah, definitely saw somebody. Okay, so Static saw this guy. Lovely. The one advantage Static has over yes. Nails is he is uh, smart enough to wear something other than a leather jacket. Standing by. So he, uh, he is armored, which is a nice improvement. Uh, we should be able to take the headshot here and easily put that guy I in the grave. My Standing by. Like a woman. And the trigger responds to my touch. Right. Standing by. And then just gonna inch others up. Really, we don't see anything. Okay. Um. So let's see. I've got Grizzly Standing down by. the center. You called? Let's get Fox next to him. Oh, not quite enough to crouch. Yes. We've got Gaston and. Coyote here to uh, cover both sides, and then they can worry about anything that might show up in the center, uh, like using these shadows to move. Um, yeah, Ready. Uh, that should work out pretty well. Uh, I'm still going to keep links Done. on this flank, yes, sir. just in case. And Vince doesn't really need to be covering anything over here, considering the number of militia units that are gaggling around over there. Course, all we've really seen so far are the red shirts. Uh, I do assume there are going to be some elites sprinkled in, as uh, that has been the general flavor this late into the game. But nothing so far. Okay. Uh, one thing I did want to talk about the uh, the M21. Um, haven't really mentioned much about it. The uh, the sniper rifle that I've got on like Coyote and Lynx here. Um, this was the DMR designated marksman rifle that um, was used when I was with the the fourth Meb. Uh, we uh, like we, we had DMs yes, um, one per platoon who uh, like went to 
DM school and uh, and came back uh, with that as their primary task. Um, yeah, another headshot, awesome. Uh, so I have a great fondness uh, for this gun, and in the game I think it's great. Like it basically stacks up. Uh, so six, thirty-nine, seventy-five, eighteen. Six, thirty-nine, seventy-five, nineteen. Uh, so it takes one more AP to ready, but the same, it's it's 18 and 33 or 19 and 33. Uh, it weighs 7.8, weighs 5.6. So it weighs more, but it takes like all of the great sniper attachments um, and has the advantage of a 20 round magazine that uh, a lot of the other more traditional sniper rifles uh, lack. And in uh in this game at least there is sort of a class of sniper rifle one step above this like once you start getting into 50 caliber uh snipers but range of 75 like that's more than enough for me uh at yes, least sir. the way that i play the game sounds good typically uh using a lot more night operation type attacks and you know i really feel like with the exception of what happened to nails in the last uh <laughs> the last fight um i really feel like one of the things that started to trip me up was uh i was trying to get into more and more daytime Hello. battles now that i'd gotten longer range weapons it's just standing by it wasn't working for me i i prefer gotcha uh sight ranges being such that as soon as we spot something we're standing by we're not going to end up in a protracted Ready. fight with it where there is the potential um, for an errant bullet to uh, to kill one of our guys. Yes. So okay. I feel a lot more comfortable fighting okay. in these sort of scenarios where uh, the light mechanic keeps us sort of shielded. And once I've spotted somebody, uh, I can be sure that it's going to be kind of a fast and furious firefight with them. Uh, like that. Blasted. Okay, we did see him. We didn't see him. A little unsure on that. Uh, so, the, the M21, I was talking about something. Um, I've I've never shot one. Uh, I was not a DM, um, but uh, I've, like, I've handled them. Um, our DMs, as you might imagine, were pretty uh, particular about their individual firearms. As they were zeroed for them, you know, when we'd go out to ranges, uh, that sort of thing, it wasn't like they were going to... I'll let somebody just uh, pop off shots with it. But it was what had my back um, a few times, and uh, I like that weapon just fine. Um, I have also seen the Barrett yes. 50 cal. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it used. Like, I've, I've seen one in the sense that, like, there were units had them that were with us uh, Marine Corps Scout snipers that carried them um, in the sense that like they would be equipped with both a 50 caliber and a 762 sniper rifle Stand and, and I don't think they ever went out with the Barrett like it was just something that they had and theoretically could use but it never really came up Ready. that there was a an operation that needed something like that. Um, yes. In the game, I think recognizes this, and in sort of the real world, um, those kind of calibers become ready um, anti-material weapons more than anything. Like, I don't know. You have you have no need to shoot a person with a 50 caliber round. Like, it's just it's overkill um, for the degree of precision that you're going to get out of something with a lot less recoil, you uh, you would you'd prefer to be shooting that. It, it's just, uh, it's way too much caliber for the job. Um, and so they didn't typically uh, get brought out in situations that I was in. Uh, I suppose if we ever needed to take on like armored vehicles or something, like it would have suddenly Standard been a savior, but we we never ran God. into that in the kind of fighting that I was doing. Uh, the enemy didn't typically have any armor. 
Oh, wow. That's like dual wielding, fully automatic machine hey, pistols. Yeah, strange sounds around me. Okay. I'm surprised nobody saw that guy as he shot at us. Do you think the three militia guys will be able to take him on by them by themselves? Maybe. I might pull Gaston up to like right here so he has a better line of sight. There he is. Damn. Ooh. Anybody want to get an interrupt? No, not enough AP. I don't think we're going to be able to see that guy on our own turn. Like he only became visible because he shot, right? Um, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. I, I've never exactly figured out the way that that works, but like... Sometimes there will be characters that you failed to spot due to camouflage, for example. But if they by. make themselves visible to you, Standing by. like uh, by shooting is usually the most common way, um, you then can see them like permanently. Um, and I've never really understood how that mechanic worked so well. Um... But like maybe that's what it was. Is uh, we weren't able to see the guy, but then he took a shot, and then it was like, oh, that's a that's a person. Stand you know, it does a decent enough job of simulating like how Ready. spotting things we would work, right? Like you see an object, uh, it might be a person, it is might not, great? and then suddenly the thing that might be a person takes a shot at you. You realize obviously it's a person. Oh. Fantastic. <sighs> And Gaston is still super deadly. Um, I don't want to open up with automatic weapons fire from behind those guys just because. Call it uh, best practice, but something about it just seemed a little bit dangerous. Ready. And um, whether or not I plan to, somehow Bubba and Lynx have ended up. As like the denim duo down here uh, in jeans and presumably jean shirts uh, kind of flanking around. Uh, Ready. Hmm. You called? The two guys that really want to shoot I are shot. It. Everybody else, I don't like the Yo. the number of uh, militia guys that are out in front of us. Yes, sir. Uh, kind of making things a little bit dangerous to just open up. Let's do something like that. Ah, sugar bush. Yeah, I think the militia will take care of that guy. Um, he might get one of them, but there's like three guys right there. Uh, never mind. Of course, she could ignore him and run over to stab somebody else. And he could talk on his cell phone. Oh, guys, don't bring your cell phones into the combat zone. How many times do we have to have this conversation? It's it's not okay. It's just not okay. All right, so I guess uh, they're going to completely ignore that guy and just let him murder their friend. Seems fair. Totally. Uh, and, of course, uh, Gaston did not move up as he was busy murdering two guys on his last turn. Oh, Target wow. in sight. That was a shotgun. Okay. It's fine. Hmm. Well, I'm not super yes, excited about charging the shotgun. Uh, and a lot of militia guys have gotten in our way. Standing by. Okay. You called? Well, I'll tell you what then. Have everybody Yo. run up, crouch down, sight in. Yes, sir. Thought process here being that we can take shots off of any muzzle flashes that might come on the enemy turn. Mm, did not yes. get it done. Okay. And I'm going to leave uh, Bubba Ready. and Link done. running along over here. Also really surprised oui. Gasson sees no one. Um, hmm. Do I want to reposition with him? To like here? Not a very good angle. Okay, we're going to move up a little bit. Probably means he will not be able to take a shot this turn. 
Glad that missed. There's our shotgun friend. Yeah, he uh, did manage to suppress an awful lot of people. Oh, wow. Okay, I think we found the bulk of them uh, over here. It's a little bit worrying for Vince's long-term safety because he's kind of by himself over there and not exactly what I would consider the uh, the strongest mercenary we have right now. Um, mostly with us for his medical skills and not his trigger control. But um, this can work. Uh, we need to get... really need Gaston and Grizzly to sort of close in on this. Man, I almost, I wish these guys like weren't here right now. I'd almost prefer the militia were just not present Ready. over what they are currently doing to us. Um, also, let's consider some rooftop antics here. Link over there. Yes. Bubba will join you on the next turn. Then Wait. nobody has visibility of anything. Man, that is too bad. Yo. Uh, let's check for some chem lights. You stand up, and then throw something over here. Perfect. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, first of all, Vince, I want you to turn. Ah, sugar bush. I want you to drop to a knee, and I want you to finish this guy. Ah, Thank you. Terrific. We now, with the added light, I think Gaston should be able to provide oh. a little bit of cover, like that. Fantastic. And then. Standing by. Hmm. Grizzly does not have any sight of anybody. Um. Okay. What's well, what? Sight back in this way. Still can't see. Standing by. Still can't see. Wonder right here. Crouch. Sight in. Can see him now and can take a yeah. shot. Okay. It worked out pretty well. Yo. Static, go ahead and get back down. You called? Fox, go ahead and move up. Alright. Yep, that's still a shotgun. Okay, and a few more mm, joining us. It is an ingrate. I think Vince is going to be okay, though. Uh, that was really the biggest concern. We took out two of those guys. Uh, Shotgun Man needs to go away pretty soon, though. I was hoping the single bullet would be enough to dissuade him from shooting back, but clearly I was wrong. Hmm. You called? Seriously, guys? You're, yes, you're just running all over the place with no rhyme or reason to it whatsoever. Car Okay. Standing and on. easy peasy. Awesome. Uh, I see somebody's dying. Ready. Not a big deal. Lynx, buddy. Let's get you over here. Drop down. Yes. Bubba. Let's get you up here too. And drop down. Alright, go ahead and pass a turn. I mm, was kind of hoping somebody would have uh, gotten an interrupt off of his muzzle flash, but that did not occur. Um, I'm guessing, like, there's probably like three enemies left. Loud explosion to the northwest. Yes, there was a loud explosion to the northwest. I'm glad you heard that. Okay. And as soon as you guys want to finish your dilly-dallying over here... We can move on with the real work of sorting out this sector. Any day, guys. Any day. Yes. Thank you. All Ready. Right. Lynx. I think you're going to be... Oh, really? You can't see that guy. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to hit that button. 
Okay. Um, he can't exactly see him, but he can still shoot him. I'm fine with that. Um, so what about you? Whoops. Let's try that again. Not at ease with an empty weapon. It went better that time. Um, yeah, I'm out of AP ammo though, so we're gonna be switching to hollow points next. Uh, Standing by. Coyote? Do you have any chance of hitting this guy? Yes. <laughs> uh, Caddy, of course, is hmm, not actually a sniper. You called? Uh, he just plays one in a video I'm game. I'm into it. And uh, therefore, doesn't quite have that same long-range shooting power at targets that he can't see. Standing by. But that's fine. You know, what he lacks in marksmanship, he makes up for in something else. Yo. Okay. Uh, probably leadership. If I had to give him a trait that has uh, yes. been super helpful for us. Um. No, I don't even have line of sight to that. Okay. Oh. Fine. Bugger. All right. We did spot somebody ah. even further away. I think these are the last two enemies, though. Um, Links will probably be able to sort this guy right out, and. Uh, I imagine we've got plenty of guys that'll be able to hit him. Yes. Okay. We. Oui. Let's worry about this guy first. Oh right. Still haven't reloaded you. Uh, let's try for the headshot. <laughs> yes, that did 222 damage. Uh, so hollow points Ready. against unarmored targets are insane. It's just when they have armor that it's not so good. All right, we'll try for the headshot here. Hmm, doesn't pull it off. Standing by. That is too bad. Standing by. All right, well then, uh, I'll just like Grizzly let him know we're alive, and we'll pass a turn. Oh, he's running! Arr! Don't let him run. That just means that this will take a lot longer. Okay, uh, somebody spotted him. I, is that the same guy? I don't know that that's the same guy. There might be two enemies left. I really don't know what the militia is doing down here. Sometimes the AI... I think... It's like Standing this. If, if you couldn't see what the AI was doing... Ready. When it's the enemy that's doing it, basically... It's fine. They... They appear to act in a way that seems reasonable to you. But as soon as you can see them do stuff like that, where they just run around wasting all of their actions for a turn, uh, it sort of points out that they're they're not you all call? that intelligent. Um, I guess it's like they if they don't have a clear uh, do. line to where they want to go, like the AI down here doesn't quite understand. Well, like, what do I want to be doing three turns from now? Standing it's by. instead just looking at it like, well, this turn, there's Done. virtually nothing for me to do. So it just runs back and forth. That's my assumption anyway, Yo. is that it, it kind of poorly handles um, figuring out what it wants to do, like, several turns down the road. Oh. And instead just kind of randomly moves. Uh, once it's oh. got, like... This is what I want to do this turn. Um, it does a pretty decent job of it. Uh, and it does turn out there are two of them left. That is unfortunate. And it looks like Lynx is not going to have a shot from here. I might like hop off this building and hop onto this building. Not just because takeout sounds really good right now, but for the better vantage shot. Vantage shot. Vantage point for the shot. Um, that'll probably mean like three turns worth of moving around, but um, I don't think he's going to be able to do much from atop the liquor Yo. store that he's on right now, I think. Ready. I'm pretty sure it's a liquor store. It looks like a liquor store to me. Yeah, it's going to take him a couple of turns to get over there, though. You call? In the meantime, um, standing by. Grizzly went up to right here. Pop a squat. Aim in. I you don't want to take any shots with uh, like a saw at this guy. I don't really even want to take the shot Yo. with Fox. 
I'm happening. I think I'd rather just get them all in position. And like if something changes about what's going on here, then I'll worry Wait. about it. I will run guests on all the way over here. Uh, not enough to crouch, huh? Standing by. All right, got some guys up there just as an insurance plan. Oh, um, I mean, you called? I don't think I have very good odds of this. I'm a little. Oh, well, that worked out. I'm like, I'm worried about accidentally shooting our militia and preventing her from being able to do something like that. I think she's got it. And uh, she's got reinforcements right behind her if she needs them. Probably not going to see Lynx actually make it to uh, the top of the building, though. It seemed like a really cool plan in my head, right? Like he was going to jump down, run over, jump back up. He's no Spider-Man. Okay... Well, Gaston, why don't you take, like, three steps up so you've got the right angle here. And just crouch down. And just take the shot from the kneeling. With 50 AP. Plenty to do that. Show's over, baby! They're just pushing up weeds now! Gotcha. Okay. Let's sort through some inventory there. And now... Uh, I don't know if there's anybody Standing that I want to be talking to here. It's also the middle of the night. Uh, looks like there is at least one person that I want to be talking to. Uh, and Electronifix. Right, right, Electronifix. Okay, well, I tell you what. Um, we're going to spend the night shoring up Sector H1 of Grum, uh, training militia and what have you. Ready. Yes. And uh, then... Yes. By the time we get back, uh, we'll wait for tomorrow morning and wander around talking to uh, shopkeepers and NPCs, cover all that kind of stuff. That'll be something left for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, feel free to subscribe for more videos on the channel every single day. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other episodes, and I will catch you guys next time.